I'm actually really nervous <laughs> to talk about this. Hello everybody, it's Lenny. How are you all doing? So a little while ago, I made a video uh, about my journey with anxiety and I also talked a little bit about depression. Today I want to talk more about the depression side of the story without going into so much detail about the journey, more about my experience and how I got out of it. So even though anxiety and depression seem to be intimately linked in my experience, depression for me is much harder to talk about because of how complex the disorder is, especially when it comes to explaining what depression feels like to someone who's never, never experienced the feeling of depression. So before I get started, if you haven't seen my anxiety journey video, I suggest you pause this video and go check it out as it fills in the details on how on where I've been, how I've dealt with some things, it talks about therapy and medication, some things I'm not going to go into detail in this video, I want to keep it short. I want to do two parts, one part where I talk about more of the experience and getting out of it and another part where I talk about what I do daily, how I keep my head above the water, how I keep above the layer of dark clouds that can happen during a state of depression. Also, I want to put out a disclaimer that I'm not an expert on mental health at all. If you do suffer from severe depression, please seek out help, find what is good for you, whether that's therapy, talking to friends, family, or even considering going on medication. Again, my experience with medication was not good. I talk about it in my anxiety video, but that doesn't mean what doesn't work for me, doesn't work for you, etc, etc. So what you should know about depression is that it's not sadness, it's not feeling down, it's not a case of the blues. Depression is usually an imbalance in the brain, it's something that you don't choose, you can't just snap out of it, it just comes over you. It's like you don't choose to get a cold or the flu, you don't choose to have blue eyes or a cleft chin. It just happens, it's just the way it is, it's an imbalance. You can't snap out of it and it's definitely, definitely not your fault. I do believe, however, that there is a way to cope with depression, things you can do on a daily basis to get out of that state, to make it hard for that disorder to come over you. And I'll get that in just a minute. First of all, I want to talk about my experience with depression. And looking back, I feel like I started feeling sad uh, during my teenage years, I'd say as early as 14, maybe 15, which was when the hormones really kicked in for me. And I started feeling blue, but more than I should have, I feel like. And at the time, I just thought, oh, it's teenage angst, it's normal. And the term depressed was something that was thrown around a lot at the time, especially around me with my friends. Hey, what's up? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'm just feeling depressed, which meant I'm just having a bad day. The term depression for me was something very scary and frightening. It was something that I completely rejected even though I did have the suspicion that I was suffering from some form of depression. I often felt like there was this dark cloud following me around, sometimes just following me but sometimes just completely covering my mind in a fog and it was like raining for days at the time. But depression to me was so scary that I dismissed it completely and this was because there was huge, huge stigma around me concerning depression, whether it was from friends, family and particularly from boyfriends. Depression was something that made you seem weak, feeble, it was something for middle-aged menopausal women who stayed and cried in front of their TV, it was for lazy people who can deal with their own lives so they just decided to become recluse and sad. Depression was something that made you unattractive and nobody would want to hang around with you because you were sad all the time. So I completely rejected that idea, I completely rejected that I may be depressed, though I can feel it inside, I could feel that there was something wrong, that I was too sad, too worried, too stressed all the time. And for me to realize and accept that I was going through depression, I had to be swallowed whole by my dark cloud, like completely swallowed whole after a breakup, I've talked about it in my other video, so I had to be plunged into darkness, complete depressive darkness, for me to actually accept the reality that I had a disorder. 
So when full-blown depression takes over you, you are plunged into darkness. You are not yourself, you're transformed into somebody else. It's as if yourself had been torn away from you and replaced with something dark and evil. And you're just left in the state of darkness. You don't know how you got there, you don't know how you're gonna get out, and you're just stumbling around in the dark. And for me, it felt like I was just looking for a way out, for relief from this suffering and this pain, all the while feeling that there's something else in that darkness with me. There was something else hunting me, looking for me, looking at me, and it really caused this complete despair. And my mind was so fogged up, it felt like there was like this motorcycle cage, you know, like at, at fairs where with three guys on a motorcycle going around and around and like um, it was impossible to focus on anything else than the spinning and it was just complete despair, you just wanted to stop, you wanted to end and I'm not talking about wanting to die rather than just wanting this pain and despair to just stop so another way to explain depression is imagine if you have the flu right now, your brain is foggy, you're groggy, your body feels weird, you, you feel like complete shit and you feel pretty damn sorry for yourself, you, you feel shitty. But with the flu you can go to bed and rest and wait it out, complain and be pissy about it all you want but you know it's gonna pass in a few days or a week or so and sure enough one day you're gonna wake up, you're gonna feel fine, you're gonna go get up, want to eat, go back to work, you know it's gonna pass. Now imagine having the flu, you feel so shitty and groggy and gross but it just goes on and on. Days become weeks, sometimes weeks become months and you don't know when it's gonna end, you don't know where it's, when it's gonna stop and it just goes on and after a while you just forget what it feels like to be healthy you just forget what it feels like to be happy and you're just in this despair and darkness and you don't know what on earth you can do there's no light at the end of the tunnel there's nothing there's nothing there there's nothing to do that to me is the best way i can describe depression wow <sighs> Sorry, this is really hard for me to talk about because of the lack of control you, ha you sometimes have over this depression. It's sometimes very scary to think about it, very scary to remember where you once was. So how did I get out of that dark, dark state I was in? Well, you're not going to be very happy to hear about this, but what helps is time. That's the primary thing. All those cliche phrases that people have been throwing at you, well, they're actually true. Time will help, seasons pass, what goes down must go up, everything must pass. And clinging on to that belief really helped with the despair, like everything must pass. Yes, there is this huge dark cloud, but if... If my but if my depression is a cloud, then somewhere out there, there's the sun. It's going to pass. With that in mind, you need to start doing little things that will lift the clouds progressively. So little things at first, like getting out of bed, like getting dressed, taking a bath or a shower, and then little things turn into bigger things. And with time, I managed to get out of that darkness. I managed to get a new place, I got a job, and things were moving along slowly, except that I still had that cloud with me. It wasn't like completely overwhelming as it was a few months ago, but it was still there. And I didn't do anything about it, I just let it be there. It was there since I was 14, so why would I do anything about it? It's just there. But I couldn't understand why I wasn't feeling happy. Yes, I was out of the big state of depression, but I was still sad, I was not feeling joy, I wasn't happy and I wasn't wondering why, I was just like complaining about it but I didn't do anything about it. So what happened was that one day something snapped. I saw something, something that I hadn't seen for months and then years before I saw it, I caught myself red-handed red doing something that was making my life miserable and from that moment where I caught it, my life completely, completely changed, like 360 changed. 
I actually remember the exact moment when it happened. I was I was at a bar with friends and I suddenly heard myself. I heard myself complaining. I was trying to get attention through pity and being sad and I was just so so negative and I caught myself and I thought who is this sad person? Who is that? You don't usually notice a bad habit unless someone points it out or you catch yourself in the act and that's what happened to me. I caught myself and from there I changed my life and I'm absolutely not saying it's easy. I'm not saying it was an easy task. Turning your life around the same way I turned my life around is a huge task but daily I try to catch myself in the act of being negative. I started forcing myself to find the simple little things that made me smile even a little and by focusing on those things on those little things i could let go of the more trivial things that i clung on to that made me sad and at first it felt weird it felt funny it felt uncomfortable it felt fake and i was fa i was faking it i was like forcing myself to be like oh the sky is blue the birds are singing la di la but i was looking for ways to amaze myself and from faking it true amazement actually happened, it actually came back. So the little things, the trivial things, the, the good trivial things actually started bringing in joy. And from doing that, the real started turning and I started being able to bring more and more positivity into my life and really rid myself of that bad habit. It might seem corny, it might seem useless and hopeless, especially if you're in that dark, dark stage, but what do you have to lose? I mean, it's yes, it's hard to turn your life around, it's hard to break a, a habit, but isn't it harder to be sad all the time? Isn't that the hardest thing? So what do you have to lose in trying? Start little, then go big. Honestly, my life has changed so much. It's been like two years maybe since I've made this change and everything is so much better. Everything is brighter, more vibrant, more real. I can appreciate the little things and let go of the annoying little voices. And I'm not saying I beat depression. No, depression is not something you kill once and for all and never comes back. No, it's more about installing a lifestyle that makes it hard for depression to come back. It's like being healthy to boost up your immune system or brushing your teeth daily to avoid cavities. It's it's like mental hygiene. <laughs> okay, so if you're interested in the little things I do on a daily basis to maintain this mental hygiene, the little things I do personally to keep me balanced and healthy, I'm gonna make a part two for this video which explains what I do on a daily basis. For this video, I wanted to focus more about what it feels like to be depressed, how I experienced it and how I got out of it. So it was really just time to get out of the really dark place and then breaking a bad habit like really rewiring my brain to think differently anyway i'd love to know what your experiences are with disorders or depression if you're going through it if you know someone who is going through it i'm going to link a bunch of things down below that have helped me some youtubers some talk and also i've written a blog article about it on my website so i'll link that down below also i encourage you to read it and yeah if i if i can help just one person if i can help anybody at all or if i can just keep you from that state of mind where you're just going around and around in your in your head if yeah, i can keep you away from that reality for the time being with this video that's already a huge success so if you like this video please please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me with this channel if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do so for more content i post twice a week i post a vlog on mondays and a video on a thursday and of course don't forget to comment down below what your experiences what you what your thoughts are what your opinions are on disorders on depression on anything at all really i want to hear your voice i want to know all about you so i will see you in part two of this video and in monday's vlog i already all and i'll see you very soon in another video bye